Hello everybody, it's uh, my second Life by Misadventure update, so welcome. Um, I realized that after doing the show last night, or af after doing the recording last night, and then thinking about it a little bit, and having some time to think about it today, I realized that I need to be a little bit more organized and have a plan for what I want to talk about instead of just getting on and talking about random stuff. Because... What I realized last night is, is that even as I introduced myself and said, you know, my name's David Brown, there's a story behind that because my birth name and, and when I was born and when I was growing up and I was in grade school and primary school and all that, I went by Mark Johnston. How did that happen? So there's a story there. And I realized that I, I don't know what order to tell this stuff in. I have no idea. Do I just go chronologically or do I think about areas like maybe cities that I lived in or decades? Do I talk about like the 70s and the 80s and the 90s or I don't know. I have no idea how to logically sort of organize this. So I have a friend who's an author who's written a few books and I think I'm going to try and talk to him tomorrow and get some feedback from him to help me organize my thoughts a little bit and come up with an outline at least. So then I have some structure in which I can start to talk about stuff. But yeah, that, that was the thought. So I want to make these at least somewhat interesting for anybody that might watch them. And yeah, I, it just feels like it's really disorganized and I don't want to be that disorganized. I would like them to be a little bit more organized than, than I've been. And I know I did one yesterday and I was able to find some of the pictures so you saw a picture of my grandparents' house. I couldn't find some very, any high-res pictures or very good pictures of the of the um, horseshoe ground itself, and anyone in the horseshoe. Uh, sorry, competing in the in the show. But I just grabbed a couple of images real quick just so that I could put them in so that you guys could see what I was talking about. But that goes into the being prepared. If I'm a little bit more prepared, and I have an outline, and I know. Okay, in this one I'm going to talk about this, and then the next one I'm talking about that. Then that gives me a little bit more time to prepare to maybe try and find some B-roll, maybe even some video footage or, you know, some images, maybe some better high-res images that I can drop in and have ready to go so that I can make it a little bit more engaging because me just sitting here in a chair, um, maybe it's not that engaging. Maybe it is. Um, but anyway... I'd like to do something more and I'm going to need to be organized to do that. So I'm going to do that later. I'm going to talk to my friend tomorrow, maybe try and do some organization over the weekend. And then hopefully maybe the next few will have a, a little better theme and I can sort of say what I'm going to talk about. But today I just wanted, I think I wanted to touch on why maybe why my name is what it is. So when I was younger, as I said before, my mom and my mom and my my mom and dad, my birth parents, got divorced when I was like a year old. And my dad's name was David Mark Johnston. And they named me David Mark Johnston Jr. So when and my dad always went by David. And so when I was growing up, they called me Mark. Just I think so we knew who was getting yelled at. And uh, that's our joke anyway. So I always went by Mark. And I was Mark Johnston with a T. Um, and yeah, the whole time I was growing up, all through grade school into, you know, sort of until I was about, I think I was about eight, eight years old or something. And then my mom got remarried. And she married a guy named Terry Brown. And so but because I went to private like, not private, but, but I went to Catholic school um, almost the whole time I went to school and in all the different places that we lived, I always ended up going to a Catholic school. And back in the 70s, divorce was still frowned upon. And what was happening is, is that I was going in as Mark Johnston, but my mom had taken Brown as her surname. And so they kept... It just created confusion at the school, and they go, "Well, why is your name Johnson and your mom's name is Brown?" And I'm like, "Well, she, you know, 
she's remarried. And then, it, you know, everybody would always get that look on their face. And what it, it was a totally different time. And it, you know, it, it wasn't accepted like it is today. And I just got tired of getting grief for it. And eventually I just said to my mom, I'm like, look, can I just change my name to Brown so that I don't have this these problems? And, you know, fair play to her. My mom said, well, it, you know, it's fine with me, but you need to ask your dad because that's something that, you know, it's, it's his name and that you carry and he needs to be okay with it. So I had to go and actually ask him, which was amazingly, I mean, looking back on it today, that's like amazing for an eight-year-old to take the initiative to do that. But I remember we went and saw him in Texas, and and I don't know where we went, but he knew that I had something that I wanted to talk about, and maybe my mom had prepped him. I, I have no idea what happened in the background. But I remember, I'm pretty sure he had this big old Cadillac, and it had a, a light blue leather interior, and, I, and it was a massive old thing. Maybe it was a Lincoln or something. Um, at least this is the picture that I have in my head. And I told him the story and I said, look, you know, I'm getting all sorts of flack at school. I didn't say it in this way, but at the time in my own words, I don't remember exactly what I said, but basically I said, look, I'm getting really tired of getting all this flack at school and can I change my name? And he thought about it for a minute and he said, I understand. And he said, it's fine if you want to change your name, but your stepdad can't adopt you. I won't allow an adoption, but if you want to change your name, it's okay with me if you change your name. So went in. I actually had to file the paperwork. I had to go back then. I think you can do it online now, but back then I had to physically go stand in front of a judge as a child and explain to the judge why I wanted to change my name. And, well, you know, obviously the judge said yes and said, yeah, that's fine. So I became Brown. So I was Mark Brown for ages and ages and ages up until I was 16. Uh, no, later than that. I didn't really change over to using David until I was about 18. So after high school. And I never really did like Mark and I don't know why, I, th I don't know if I'm really honest with myself, I don't know if it's just because my dad wasn't around and he was David and I knew I was a junior and I wanted to be called David as well, or if it was something else. I just always knew that I, n I just never really felt comfortable with it. I always wanted to be Dave or David. So, you know, kind of as soon as I became independent and started introducing myself to people outside of the kind of the family and the controlled environment I just one day started introducing myself as Dave and um and and asked my friends to start calling me Dave so for a long time they called me Dark because they couldn't figure out whether to call me David or Mark and so I had a I had the nickname Dark for a couple of years just from the people that had known me when I was Mark and then eventually everybody switched over and the few people that I still know from when I was in, when I was like 12 years old, most of them, most of them call me Dave now, but some of them still call me Mark. And my mom still calls me Mark, of course, because that's what she wanted to call me. And that's totally fine. I don't, I don't care at this point if anybody calls me Mark. And when people say Mark, I, I turn around still to this day. So... <laughs> Anyway, that's how I ended up going from Mark Johnston to David Brown. And yeah, I, I kind of haven't looked back. That being said, I have my dad's ill at the minute and he's in his late 70s and he's ill. And I have started thinking twice and maybe thinking Maybe I do want to carry on the name. I don't know. But the other sort of wrinkle to that is, is that he was adopted. So that's a whole nother story. We can talk about that another time. Um, but he doesn't know who his parents were. He never found out because he always said that the people who adopted him were his parents. 
and he loved them just like they were his parents and he didn't need to know and he never ever had any interest in finding out who his birth parents were. So he took on their name and he's carrying their name forward. Um, so I would be carrying their name forward as well. So I don't know, it's something I've thought about recently, but now I have my own family and they're all brown and then that has an impact on them and whether they want to change it and what confusion that would cause. And yeah, it's quite complicated. But um, yeah, so anyway, maybe that's just a quick story for tonight and uh, and how I went from Mark Johnston to David Brown. So let's leave it there for the minute. I'll try and break it up and, and maybe I'll break it into individual little short stories like this so that I don't end up talking for hours at a time. Or, you know, if anybody's watching this, I mean, I see we're getting sort of anywhere 10 or 15 views on, on these videos at the minute. If anybody's watching it and makes it this far into the video, give me some feedback and tell me, you know, do you prefer the sort of 10 to 20 minute bite size videos or would you like me to settle in and do a little bit longer, do a 30, 45 minute video and tell a longer story? Um, because I can probably do either one. So if you are listening, let me know, give me a little bit of feedback, let me know what you think and then I'll work that in. So Let's leave it there for tonight, and um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.